there, runner, and welcome to Saturday if you're watching live, on Monday if you're watching on YouTube. There, is that better? Is that, is that, is that, is that better? Um, which means it is time for another Live Watches Spy X Family, and I will keep pronouncing the X because I am the devil. Uh, if you are, if you are watching on YouTube, you can always catch us live by going to twitch.tv forward slash live the cyber doll, which is linked in the upper right hand corner and in the description. Stream anime every, uh, Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh boy, I'll zoom through that. So in the last episode of Spy X Family, we had some fun things happen. So, and by fun, I mean... Nothing really fucking happened. Uh, we, we got some... It felt like a filler episode. So... You're not supposed to say the X? No, you're not supposed to say the X. It apparently is supposed to be that spy... Like, spy family. The X is silent, apparently. Which is weird. Like, apparently it's the same with Hunter x Hunter, which... Why is the X there? Why is the X there if you're not supposed to say it? What the fuck? But, um, but, uh, point being, last episode was more or less a, like, a filler episode, really. Like, we, we learned that Damien's dad, despite being extremely neglectful, is a decent enough dude to keep the people on when he merges with their company. You know, he's not gonna do an Elon Musk and be like, all of y'all are fired! What do you mean the servers are on fire? Um, and also, like, Yor can do, like, sick parkour. That is, like, the only shit that happened last episode. Like, it was just kind of filler. Filler for filler's sake. And I'm really hoping this episode does not follow that fucking mode. Oh, boy. But let's get in here um, and see what our favorite family gets up to, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Go start a fight. You're supposed to pronounce the X Hunter X Hunter. Have fun. Yeah! I just fucking realized what the logo is. I am stupid. Holy shit. Hey, why is the... Oh, hey, why is the... It's supposed to be blacked out. Why is that not blacked out anymore? That's weird. Y'all, I'm dumb as fuck. Y'all, I'm dumb as fuck. Like, unironically. The, uh... Usually when I when I have crunch, the Crunchyroll subtitles, everything but the subtitles is completely black. That's weird. Like, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a copyright measure by Crunchyroll. It's fucking weird. Ah, oh, well. It's not gonna affect me at all. But... Okay. I'm very... I, I... I'm very stupid. I just realized that the... Westalis Spy Agency, Wise, their logo is a shifty-looking eye. It's a compass, like NATO. But in the middle of the compass rows, there's like a half-lidded eye looking to the left. That's what the logo is. I am so fucking stupid. It took me half a year to notice that. It took me half a year to realize that the spy agency has shifty eyes. Bruh. I'm sorry, my brain is just empty. It's full of goo. Mission 20. Investigate the General Hospital. Oh yeah, this is the episode where you've got Anya dressed as Sherlock Holmes and, and also Anya Assassin. Research an occupation you're interested in? <laughs> I want to be a spy! I want to assassinate Bin Laden! Uh, 
And what does your dad do, little Timmy? My dad destab <laughs> My dad destabilizes third world nations. I'm supposed to watch you kill people. I want to see the life leave their eyes. Oh, please. Please don't tell me that the cool Anya assassin thing was a... Th Bruh. I'm very proud of all the murder I do. It's a fuck, it was a f oh no. I, I have never been more disappointed in this show. Like, I wasn't expecting Anya to just, you know, do homicides, right? But there is nothing more cowardly about this than just fucking like, oh yeah, no, it's all in yours imagination. Damn, they just went straight Danganronpa on this one, huh? Danganronpa! Bam, na, na, na. <laughs> just tell Lloyd we were playing Danganronpa. It's fine. Ugh. Oh, boo. Kaidi Nasai. What the fuck? Did the subtitles even try? Did the subtitles even try there? What the fuck? I really want to know what that looks like in fucking dub. Like, holy shit. God, I can't believe Anya's just a fucking nerd. It's supposed to be the dad not listening, disagreeing. I don't know. I, I think, well, she did. S I think she tried to say okay in a sigh, but she stumbled over her words because she's four. But at the very least, usually when she mispronounces a word, like they actually, you know, do something funny with the sub with the translation. I guess my question is, how many of these doctors, like... Because, like, Lloyd's not actually a fucking psychiatrist, so, like... How many of these doctors are, like... Hey, yeah, that's fucking Dr. Forger, yeah, yeah. I have never seen him take a patient in my entire fucking life. What the fuck is he doing? Nobody knows who the fuck I am. Because, like, Lloyd doesn't actually work, though. Like, every time we've seen Lloyd... Every time we've seen Lloyd go to work, he's just been spying on Anya to make sure she doesn't accidentally fucking launch the nukes. 
a pleasure. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so he does work here. What the fuck? How does he fucking- how does he fucking find the time to spy on Anya, then? How does he find time to spy on Anya at school? Like, like if, he, if he's here being, like, the most popular fucking psychiatrist, how is he fucking doing spy shit? Half-hour appointment? Maybe. Maybe he's skimping out on appointments. What's hard is... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, because that'd be bad. If he gets to set his own schedule, it could make... Yeah, I guess you're... Yeah, maybe, like, he's just got, like... Maybe he just got, like... Maybe he just, like, does, like, fake house calls or something. Because this is, like, back in the 70s, right? So this is back when, like, doctors actually did house calls and shit. So it's... Possible it's just kind of, like... He has, like, half a day of actual appointments, and then the rest of it's just bullshit, fake... Home things. <laughs> what do you see in this ink plot, little girl? I see the death of the West. I see monuments burning. I see the death of everyone. Such a, such a bright imagination she has, Lloyd. You've, tr you've raised her well. Okay, well, at least now we have, like, a general vibe of what Lloyd gets up to, I guess. Does Hi Did HIPAA even exist in the 70s? Also, they're in Germany. Like, someone Google it. When did, when did HIPAA become a thing? H-I-P-A-A. Where's the brainwashing machine? What kind of practice do you think I run? It's over there. I'm not a fucking savage. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, is that how he... Oh my god, is that how he sneaks out? Maybe he locks himself... Maybe he locks himself in the office and just goes out through that tunnel. No one would know, and if he comes back in through the tunnel, no one knows what's going on. Oh, that, that would actually be kind of neat. So you've got 10 minutes to fuck around in the secret passage, Anya. Have fun. Yes, Anya's a telepath. Except on days of the f of the new moon. On nights with the new moon, she loses her powers for some fucking reason. Yeah, Anya knows everything. Oh, hey, it's this bitch! It's the one who wants Lloyd's dick and is jealous of your. Hell yeah. Oh, she's just fucking going for it. God damn it, Anya. Jesus Christ. If Anya's barely fitting... If Anya's barely fitting in there, holy shit, how does Lloyd do it? So is her something? No, no, she just got adopted. Like, literally, she just- like, they just happened to adopt a fucking telepath. Go surreal, you fools! Like, 
Like, just, just imagine just being a spy. It's like, okay, I'm gonna adopt this child to, to, to be my cover story. You just so happen to adopt a fucking child that can just fucking read brains like paper. And this is how Anya dies. She suffocates to death in the fucking air vents. Gentlemen, let's continue this meeting. We need to... Oh my god, that's actually it. Oh boy. Patients that hear ghosts, we need to take them seriously, because fuck. There's no other explanation. There's no way a child got in the air vents. Oh no. Anya, you have the mind of a sociopath. <laughs> Rolling a sweep. <laughs> I should enroll her in therapy before she shoots up a school. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Yeah! Oh my god. She actually wrote down the fucking spy notes. I keep forgetting that her handwriting is garbage. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Boy. Oh, fucking Christ. Eleganto. Yeah, Borf, this is what the dog, that's what sound the dog makes. Borf. Oh no. Anya's like borderline. Oh my fucking Christ. Hey, no, hey, come on now. If your psychiatrist isn't, like, leaving you, like, borderline unconscious with a bullet wound, are you really getting therapy? Cypher the perplexing... Like, imagine if she, like, starts, like, doing spy shit. She makes a code not even Lloyd can break. 
Then teach her how to write then, you piece of shit! Teach your daughter how to fucking not be illiterate, god damn it. Borf. I was I wanted a borf from the boy. Borf. I love I love I love Bond so much. Favorite character. Just fucking vibing just in Anya's orbit, waiting for her to do something stupid. Jesus Christ! Yours handwriting is ridiculously good. Give me a borf. Borf. Yeah! Borf. How has no one realized this bitch is four years old pretending to be six? The difference between a four-year-old and a six-year-old is like, should be enough. Holy Christ. Hey, fluffy boy! Oh, are they gonna- are they gonna play? Are they gonna play? Oh my god. Popo Secreto! I swear to god. I swear to god, if she makes, like, the ultimate fucking cypher... If she makes, like, the ultimate fucking cypher, like, Lloyd's gonna look at her and be like... Fuck, maybe I do actually need to tap her to take out Bolsonaro, fuck! Topo secreto. Fucking... Just do the- just try and break the code, little Miss Raytheon, holy shit. <laughs> oh, he's gonna- he's gonna turn it out like it's a love letter, isn't he? Oh my god. How many of those did you get your to make? God. This is the 70s, I don't know if they would have a- if they would have a copier. Then Yor is also, like, incredibly efficient. She probably just knocked them all out in, like, ten minutes. <laughs> oh, just the fuck- just fucking, like, flash forward to Anya's future right there. Turns out she just actually never hits her growth spurt. She just stays that short forever. Oh no. Oh no. This boy. This stupid boy. Hi, Titan. Holy shit, he actually cracked the code. How fucking funny would it be? How fucking funny would it be if she made up her own cipher and it was borderline... And it was just borderline, like, undecipherable, just because she's an idiot. Orf. I call a love letter thing. I may, I, I might, I may have done. I may have done. That this might have been a god do prophecy, just not in the way I thought it would be. 
Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh. oh my god, I wonder, I wonder if that's ever gonna go anywhere. Soul groove emoji. When I have the money to commission Micah again. I know what I'd get too, I know what I would get. It would it'd basically just be like, like the other dole emojis, like, except like, it's just gonna be just going like, Basically, yeah. Reservary for- Yeah, but I'm broke! Uh... Yeah, Mike is great. Mike is great. Um... Criminally under... Under charges. Love that boy. Um... My brain doesn't want to work. Um... Alright, so this... Yeah, I mean, it's like... That is true. Okay, fuck it. No more stun locks. God damn it. Right, next mission. Oh. Oh, this bitch. We're gonna see- we're gonna see... The first fit of jealousy. Oh boy, alright, alright, we're gonna see- We're gonna see a cat fight, I think. Oh boy. We are gonna see an absolute fucking cat fight and it's gonna be great. Like, I didn't see Yuri. I did not see Yuri in there. But I might have blinked and missed him, because those go by really quickly. Hang on. No, I think it's just between white hair and your. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's just between white hair. Yeah, there's, there's no Yuri. There's no Yuri. Oh, boy. Alright, okay. So I guess recap for those, for people that, is white hair civilian? No, she's another spy. So I guess recap, I guess. because at the, So at the end of season one... Uh, white, white hair, whose name I do not know, uh, she basically had, like, this moment where she was talking with Lloyd, then she got on her own, the camera followed her, and she was like, Fuck, I should have been his wife! It should have been me, not her! Like, you know, like, it just, like, she's just losing her shit, because she wants Lloyd's dick. She wants Lloyd's dick in one of her orifices, and I don't think she cares which one. And she's incredibly jealous of Yor. So, I guess this next episode is going to be uh, White Hair getting very, very mad at the world's best assassin. And we're gonna see some petty fucking catfight bullshit. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And now I will, I will also say, you know what the best fucking cure for a love triangle? <gasps> a boopa. The best cure for a love triangle is just a polycule. Let's be honest. Look, people too focused on fucking monogamy, you know? Fuck it, just look, just just start a polycule for fuck's sake. Everyone will be happier. Um <laughs> Love triangles are cringe. Just 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 cule it up. You'll be fine. Uh is a boop the best cure? <laughs> oh boy. Um yeah, but uh, but uh, in non fuck monogamy news, no, no, um, in non in non fuck monogamy news, uh, I really like this episode, and it's definitely a very very nice uh, palate cleanser after the filler fest that was the previous episode. Um, so like. Anya got like a bit more of a of an insight into what her parents do. Um, with Yor, it was through Yor's imagination. Because I'm fairly certain Anya saw that entire fucking imagined scenario Yor was going through. Um, and also we got to see her, you know, kind of like have like a day undercover with, with Lloyd, you know? Like, and she saw some of his stuff and she, she has some hijinks. And, and honestly, hijinks are good. Um, I do appreciate that now we kind of know how yours thing works uh, even though like it was entirely just her basically listing it off and we got kind of like a, a an imagined scenario that was similar enough to it i guess 
Um, and we also know how Lloyd's stuff works, or he's, or how he pretends to be a psychiatrist, now he keeps his cover going. That's good information to know, and it's stuff that will probably come up and be somewhat useful to us later in the series, and that's pretty good. And it's also getting white hair, like, again, giving us, like, a reminder about her, because the last time we saw her was six fucking months ago. Back in, back in part one. So... That works out. Um, the code section, I will say that I feel like they did the. It was okay. Like the idea of Anya getting into cryptography, even if it is just kind of like, you know, a child copying what she saw on TV, that's pretty interesting and it could, you know, go places. And the fact that, like, you know, Scruffy wound up just getting absolutely fucking ghosted. By a per because he made an assumption. Like, honestly, I just- uh, honestly, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy, I'm glad he suffers. Um, <laughs> but it, do it does feel like that section kind of went a place that- I don't know. I, I feel like it just, like, it going to Scruffy and Scruffy being the only one to take the code seriously probably is- I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll come back. Maybe the codes will come back and it'll be... I need my head pats on each time. Nice. Like, maybe the codes will come back and it'll be something more, like, recurring. Because she gave one to... She gave one to Little Miss Raytheon. She gave one to Damien. She gave one to the neighbors who has a son who really likes spy... Uh... Sp uh fuck. Bond man, whatever the fuck his name is. I forget I forget I forgot what the fucking name of the show in universe is. Um Spy Wars, that's the one. Um these audio things I'm throwing videos? Yes they do. And if people spam them, I'm gonna turn them off. Uh the sound alert ones do not though, because those are loud and obnoxious and annoying. Um What I what I think is probably not the best. I, I don't I don't think having Scruffy get the get the message and decode it was the best idea. I feel like maybe there were plenty of other people that we could have gone with. Honestly, I kind of think it would be funny if Anya had accidentally made a code that was so like fucking bulletproof, that without the cipher, it could not be cracked. And then, also, like, you know, you just have Scruffy do it, like, maybe Lloyd finds one, he's like, what the fuck is this? Okay, I gotta crack this. This is, like, no known cipher, what the fuck? I, uh, like, everyone's just going through and doing it. Um, and then Damien fe thinks it's a love letter, because Damien, Damien likes Anya, and is, is, you know, being just a fucking son about it. Sundre about it. Um, and it would have been funny just, like, seeing, like, different people have different things. Like, like, Becky just kind of, like, brushes off. She's like, oh, bleh, whatever. Fucking Scruffy goes through it. He's like, what the fuck is this? He passes it to Lloyd. And it's like, and Lloyd's like, what the fuck? What agent gave you this? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. And he just can't crack it. Damien thinks it's a love letter. And he, when he can't crack it, he starts panicking. And he go, and, like, and then it turns out the end. Anya, one, forgot what it said because she's an idiot, and two, she lost the cipher because she wrote it down. So she can't un- so she- like, just- Like, that would have been the funniest thing to me. That would have been the funniest thing to me. Um... But... And- but we kind of went with, like, the safest bet. The one that you can just status quo out. I guess it's fine, but it does feel a little bit- underwhelming, I guess, based on what they could have done. But, no point bitching about what they could have done. It was still a good episode. I still enjoyed it. I still had fun. So, that's really all I gotta say. So, if you're watching this live, then let me know in the chat what you thought of this. If you're watching this on YouTube, then let me know down there in the comments. If you want to catch these live, you can always come to twitch.tv forward slash live the cyberdoll and watch the catch these live uh, on Saturday, specifically for this one, on Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But watching this day this goes up, which is a Monday, then at 4 p.m. we're going to be watching more anime. 
Uh, so that's going to be at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 4 p.m. And hopefully I will see you there. Oh, boy. We're going to be watching... Look, we're going to be watching Maria the Virgin. We're going to be watching Hoseki no Kuni. And we're going to be watching the Arknights anime. <sighs> got some... Got some decent ones, and we got some sussy shit. Mmm. Mmm. But... <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. So, remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, all that good shit. If you want to support the channel, you can always do so via uh, Patreon, or tw uh, YouTube memberships, or Twitch subs, whichever you want to do, if you can. Uh, if you can't, not a big deal, just you being here is enough. But, I'll see you in the next one, Runna. Bye bye <laughs>